was a flat cap cafe racer out on a very very cool day out in the mountains on my Thruxton R. You see there's a little bit of snow on the ground right now but the temperature is way cold. I don't know what it is exactly. I don't have a real good temperature. I got a little analog one here and it's sounds like zero degrees Fahrenheit and I'm sure it's a little bit colder than that. It's been a few days since I've got this Ruxton out so I thought I'd get it out and take it out through the mountains a little bit. It's about a 30 minute ride to get to this point so it's already pretty cold. I had one of my good very good subscribers ask a question about uh, heated pan grips. I uh, recently installed some heated Oxford heated hand grips on my uh, Moto Guzzi. Uh, should be a video of that. And uh, he's asking a question was were the heated hand grips hotter on the Oxford heated hand grips than on the uh, Tiger 900. <coughs> Excuse me, we both have one of those. So uh, I did a little experiment this morning to see which one uh, was the hottest. The uh, Tiger 900 has three uh, settings, a high, medium, and low. The Oxford has five settings. So I chose the lowest setting as the low, uh, the middle setting as the medium, and the highest setting as the five as the high to compare them. I got the two motorcycles outside running here because one of my subscribers asked the questions about how hot the Oxford heated hand grips get versus the uh, Tiger hand grips. So stand by for that one. Meerkat. I'm going to use the uh, Syntec infrared thermometer uh, to determine that. I'm going to do it in Fahrenheit, but we'll convert it to centigrade. The way I'm going to check this is I'm going to point it right at the grips and then the highest temperature it gets uh, during that. So where it says max here, that's what the one will be going by because it's going to vary a little bit. I'm going to try to get the same distance from each one of the grips. We're going to use the left handlebar grip on both of them. What I'm going to do is uh, take the bikes outside and let them idle for about five minutes with their, on the low setting for the heated hand grips. Then we'll, then we'll check them uh, for how hot they are. Okay, they've been idling for about five minutes. First one I'm gonna check is I'm gonna check on the left. It's gonna be a little noisy there. Uh, I'm gonna check the Moto Guzzi uh, on its lowest setting, which is 95. Then I'm gonna check the, uh, the uh, Tiger on its lowest setting. On the heated hand grips. It's going to take a while to show on each one of them, so I'll have to hold it there for a minute. Okay, it looks like the highest. I don't know if it's the cycles or not, but it, the, the highest one I saw in there was 98.2. So in the uh, Oxford on the low setting. This is a Tiger on the low setting. It's hard to gauge with this, but I, I'd say that. Tiger and low setting was about 90. Okay, they've been run several minutes. We're going to check them on the medium setting. First, the Tiger. Okay, it looks like the uh, highest it got up to is 106.5. Check the Moto Guzzi on this medium setting. Okay, that's one 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 twelve two, and it's according to the little deal here. Medium setting on the Moto Guzzi is one one fifteen.
thanks for coming along with me on today's ride i hope i answer some questions about the uh oxford versus the triumph heated hand grips now uh, it's pretty close uh, if i'm off i'm off a little bit on both of them but there i think that you can clearly see there's a difference on the heat uh, between the two between the maximum and the, and the minimum so this black cat cafe racer out for today join me and my friends at Flat Cap Cafe Racer for riding and racing. Please subscribe.